Hey everybody, it's Brian from PB Homesteading. Wanted to do the update for the salad bar LED area. Let me give you a shot here. You can see the, uh, the chart is growing back nicely since we had the uh, harvest last weekend that Paula came down here and did. Um, tomato plant over here in the uh, Silverado charred tray is getting pretty good size. I mean, it's almost uh, to the top of the, the base of that light there. But uh, hopefully it won't get too large. I mean, look, it's already, it's already got the little fruit setting. You know, flowers are going to be opening up on this thing pretty soon. So hopefully it's not going to have a detrimental effect when I take this outside in the next week or two. I did pick up some more of these uh, plastic tubs over here at Home Depot for the uh, concrete mixing trays. I mean, that's what they're usually used for. But uh, I'm going to use those so when I take these outside, I'll actually just leave the chard in these trays, kind of put them under the eave of the house, and then I'll get them acclimated to the outdoors before I actually transfer them into the red garden boxes on that lower deck. So that way I don't have to try and dig these out of here like uh, you saw with the basil in the small mid-sized tent when I transferred it over into one of these large tubs. It kind of fell apart on me and then I lost you know quite a bit of that basil I was growing. But uh, that way I'm not going to have to transition these out of these tubs until they are ready to go into the garden bed. And that way I'll be able to take some of those extra new ones put them in here and then I'm actually going to seed those with the next batch of chard. So in case those outdoors don't work out as well as planned, I'll still have a new set of chard coming up inside of here. Or I may take this area and make this the area where I move over all of the greens, or not greens, the, uh, the seedlings for the 2018 outdoor garden, like the tomatoes, the peppers, the eggplants. I may actually bring them and put them into this tent here and just let them stay in here because this one here doesn't have a heater. And so that'll kind of bring them out of the hot tent and put them into this more, I guess, cooler area underneath the storage area of our house. So they'll only have the heat from the light during the day and then they'll cool down at night. So it'll get them a little more acclimated to being outdoors. And so I guess when I start doing the transition of following them outside and inside, it'll make it easier to get them ready to be planted in the ground. And plus, if I take those extra trays that I have and set the plants inside there, It'll make them really easy to just pick up these tubs, take them outdoors, let them sit out there for a few hours, and bring them back in and stick them inside the tent. So that's all kinds of ideas that I have. Uh, you know, I like to try lots of different things when I'm doing my gardening to keep things fresh because you know you don't want to get bored and routine with what you're doing because then you know what fun is that? I mean, you always want to have experiments and new plants and everything else. All right, well that's kind of the update for the salad bar LED area. This has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. Hope you guys have a great week this week. All right, talk to you again. Bye.